Okay, I'm gonna show you how I made this aeroponics bin out of two Rubbermaid containers. For those that don't know what aeroponics is, it's a subset of hydroponics. The only difference is that you spray your roots with nutrient solution rather than watering them with it. Normally for aeroponics, you don't need two bins. I decided to use two bins because I wanted to grow potatoes. So I didn't want the roots or tubulars in my reservoir solution. In the event they became very long, I want them to be separated out. If that happened, they could rot. So I separated by using the extra Rubbermaid containers. First thing I did was mark the top lid so that I could drill the holes for the three inch net cups. I tried to put them as far apart from each other so that the plants would have room. You can use whatever size you like. I just had the net cups laying around so I decided to use what I have. Next, you want to drill the holes in the top Rubbermaid container. I lined my holes up with the holes on the top lid. This is where the aeroponics will spray your roots from this location and also the holes will let the water drip back down into the nutrient solution, bringing a little more oxygen to your solution, which is always good. Once that is done, the next step is to set up your plumbing. Make sure you make it line up with the drilled holes you just drilled. Depending on which type of bins you have, your height will be a little different. Just make sure you have enough PVC so that you can cut them down if it's not enough. Put the sprayer heads on and make sure everything lines up. Once I knew everything lined up, I adjusted my sprayer height by cutting down the rise of PVC. The further away the sprayers are from the net cups, the more area of spray you can get, at least with my particular sprinkler heads. Yours may be a little bit different depending on the type of heads you use. Keep that in mind. Next, I hooked everything up so that I can make little adjustments to my sprayer heads, etc. I checked my sprayers at this point. I wanted to make sure there were no leak. There was an even distribution of spray so that once the roots start to grow, they will be able to cover all the roots with the nutrients. Now, putting the net cups on and filling them with your media to make sure there was no other leaks is the last step. Now, this also doubles as a normal hydroponic bin as well. So you have the flexibility to grow whatever you want, depending on the season, whether it's indoors or outdoors. You have the flexibility. Thanks for watching. And if you guys have some improvements or advice, please email me at infogreendesert.org or drop me a helpful comment.